Jodorus! First! There we go. <laughs> Wato and welcome, pirates! It is a late night adventure to the Sea of Thieves. Gear square peg, fearless mine. Wato and welcome. Uh, and Chonris, that does count, which does actually put you uh, in the lead for this month. Again, the council has not yet resolved the previous three-way tie. But should it resolve in your favour, that would put you next up for a trilogy. Yeah, no, a Dino Bot was quicker off the draw than anyone else, so... Anyway, how are you all doing, friends? Watto and welcome to a merry night on the Sea of Thieves. Ooh. 19th to the 22nd. Ooh. Next Friday is Super Gold. Lovely. Chroma Capybara. How goes it? Wait. There we go. Oh, that'll be very good. <laughs> Look, we're so fucking close to hitting 15. Oh, sorry. Uh, when you hit 15 with a guild, you can sail as that guild officially. And that gets you a whole bunch of cool free shit. So, I can't wait. Anyway. Uh, a happy Friday evening to you all. It's night boat. Bacon's not dead. This is not the Bacon Memorial boat. Hey, hey well, guess what? What? I have grippy socks on. <laughs> and my hoodie still. This is statute of limitations. <laughs> it's mine now. Look, it's already lost. With with love and respect, the boba claimed that. Yes. It has reshapen. No, they're actually my hips. Yeah? Huh. Well, anyway. Uh, so far, it's just you and me. Yeah. Uh, so, Joris, the emissary flag glo uh, gro glows, uh, grows from. Uh... Oh shit! Will just showed up out of nowhere. I was napping in the chair. Ah, I'm known to do that sometimes. Like, haha. Uh -huh. Um. Actually, do we have a sloop? Oh yes, the schooner or later. We can always upgrade it. Uh, if anybody else decides to join us for, for late night piracy, uh, I don't think we're actually going to have a night shift with Nessa this evening, but because Nessa is currently fostering a kitten and helping it settle in, I'm like, you can't be mad about that. Uh, Nick is either dealing with... Actually, all I can say is, Nick has been dealing with, air quotes, clients today. Who may... They may join us. But it might just be me and Fiona and then me for Sea of Thieves tonight. You know what? That's fine. Kira Zero, you, the Yaldum is yours. You put five bucks towards your rule. What will you do with this newfound power? Oh no, it's good to see you all. Okay, so since I last saw you, uh, we went to the sim, uh, the Seattle Makerspace opening. It was lovely. Um... Our good friend Terence resurrected his Control Alt GDC award-winning game, Puppet Pandemonium, uh, where you have two people with puppets and then a group of people in the audience with like bishy bashy special style buttons. That was so fun, and I didn't know uh, Chulby was going to be there, so me and the Chulbster, me and Solon, got to go side by side being puppet players, and it was really fun. I did, however, forget how exhausting it is doing puppet work if you're not prepared. Because it's, yeah. Because these puppets are quite top heavy because they have like a button on the top. Square Pig, it really was fun. Uh, if it seems like I have crazy eyes and I'm talking very fast. So they had a non-alcoholic bar and they specifically had someone making really fancy mocktails, which is lovely. But if you haven't had a lot of mocktails in the past, uh, they usually uh, supplant <laughs> alcohol for sugar for other flavors. So I've had, like, five bags of Skittles worth of sugar. Like, at one point, I think I was holding two conversations simultaneously. So I'm actually drinking to try and balance myself out. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Sleep is dead, so is Bacon. Let's get crunk drunk and not sunk. Bacon's alive, and I highly doubt we're making out of this uh, tonight unsunk. Mm. But Eagle lives, everybody. For those of you who can't sleep, I'm glad I can be here for you. I don't know what the, uh, the conversations and banter are going to pertain, but I know that one thing is that adventure awaits us on the Sea of Thieves. All right, Lariana. What's on the horizon today? Adventure calls. <sighs> adventure calls, but apparently adventure is not for sale. <sighs> but yeah, so I hope you're all having a lovely Friday. I know I have seen you in tens of minutes, severals of hours. But I hope you're all doing splendid, friends. <sighs> Got a tornado inside my big feckin' storm. Might actually try diving for like one of the gold hoarders uh, missions or something like that. <laughs> Adventure calls, but did not text first, so I'm not picking up. My friend once said that the real claims of my death may or may not be exaggerated. It depends on if one considers a ghost or zombie demise. <laughs> Okay, now reaching a state of undeath is very, very different, Bacon. Okay. Oh, sorry, uh, so Bacon, thank you for the 200. Um, as someone who could best be described as a ghoul, i.e. someone who is clearly undead, but not in a cool or hot way, uh, I appreciate that much. Uh, Children's were just saying that they got playing... Oh! Evil Zom has followed! What oh, and welcome! We only need... Uh, 100... And 98 people more to hit 5,000 followers. <laughs> uh, and Vernon Flow, what oh, and welcome! Yeah, I go. Uh, uh, as I said earlier on in the day, like I really wanted to get some sailing in tonight, and we came back from the uh, the sim opening in Seattle. It was lovely. Um, it was odd trying to reconfigure from stream mode will into uh, social will without the uh, ability to neck three shots, but I did it. Uh, Evil Zom, my day has been lovely. Uh, I hang out. I hang out. I hung out with these lovely mother hubbards a few hours ago, and we just had like a little. Um, uh, we had a little like uh, tea and chat stream. As usually, we're in the habit of playing. A... That <laughs> that robo is fucked. Uh, we're usually in the habit of playing Sea of Thieves on Fridays, and I was hoping that we'd have uh, more of the usual crew, uh, but. In turn, Jimmy's on a date. Uh, Nessa is helping their new foster kitten settle in. Uh, and I will assume that Nick is either disposing of a corpse or relaxing having done a whole bunch of work to game. Or both. It could be both. So I've got us a, a sailboat up. Uh, I believe Fiona's going to be joining us. And I'm figuring we dive for some of like the, the good times. So, hello Fiona. What and welcome. Oh. Hi. Surprise. That's su surprise. I was I was in my own world for about 15 minutes there. Well, I realized that uh, as you have imbued of the devil's lettuce, leaving you for too long. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. And then I just, just go to space for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm back. Which is a different game altogether. <laughs> Actually, that one that uh, does look like The Expanse um, as a co-op carnage game looks so good. You uh, never did actually send me the uh, link to that. Did I not? No, okay. you did not. <laughs> uh, I'm oh, no, that's right. I don't have chat pulled up. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I can uh, help relay these uh, messages. Um, Fearless and Bacon are also sailing, and they're offering us backup if we need it. Like, Already. I think we'll be fine, because I had an idea. 
Maybe what? with just the two of us, we can do that thing where we dive for like a skelly fort or something and get all I the like... like. I don't like diving into. Or you would oh diving to them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You meant you thought I meant like actually diving for wrecks, right? Yeah, I was like, I don't actually like doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. Also, next Friday is going to be a glory and glory, uh, glory and glory, lol, golden glory weekend. So we'll get shit loads of cash. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dustin says it's the late night Wi-Fi special. Oh well, evil's on. Uh, enjoy your freedom, friend. Oh. Democracy? <laughs> no, I think they mean actual basic training. Oh. Oh, um, okay. We have some friendos in the longship who have gone through it who might be able to, I don't know, prepare yeah. you for what what is to come. But, um, yeah, I realised, Fiona, as I was getting set up, uh, and I said to the longship, uh, the amount of sugar in those mocktails has hit my bloodstream like a fucking dump truck. Like, I am I am hoping that alcohol calms me down. Because <laughs> right now, I am seeing through space and time. Why did you drink so many sugary drinks, Will? Because they were tasty and they didn't have alcohol in. So my brain goes, I can fucking neck these like there's no tomorrow. I don't have to worry about, like, getting wasted. Because, like, in your brain, there's that little part that's like, all right, well, I'm going to ease up on the, the, you know, the gin and tonics because I don't want to be ugly drunk at my friends do. But there's no gin in this. So I'm just like, whee! I, I had one, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe have some control. <laughs> if, you under if you know I could pre-order some, that would be great. And Evil Zom, I don't know what they served in. Uh, they have since uh, done their time, left, and now work in the uh, museum field. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Dustin, no. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that you desperately, desperately want to do this evening, uh, Sea of Thieves-wise. Mm, not really. But... Yeah, I was. I was seriously thinking we do a uh, like a raid on a skeleton fort. Well, we could do a raid on a skeleton fleet, but there is only two of us. Could take a while. But in theory, if we raise the gold hoarder's flag and then do a skelly raid, that gets us all the special gold hoarder's goodies. In theory, I. Don't have a preference. Okay. I'm just I'm just here to play video games. Yeah. Probably blow something up. What? Um, Explode things? You? <gasps> the gas. I know. Oh. Oh. Well. No. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> oh. You know that point where you read a number and you're like, is that 20? 22? No, that's not. Okay, everybody. What? Oh, and welcome. You have joined us as we have just started on a late night Sea of Thieves. So it's Sensors lovely online. to meet you. Rogue Link, fucking thank you. Out. Jesus, uh, I'll try and say hi to everybody. Viking 64, Frando Force, Viking 64, Frando Force, Viking 64, Frando Force. Give me best. Pretty Blue, Super Jaws, Jamak, Dagmantis, Just Jostle and Lazy Dog Sensors Jumper, online. Naru That's Hoodie, what a welcome! Yeah, we're so just starting up well. now. Hello, Will. Um, so, uh, Floydo, how was the crossover multi scrambled stream? I got to catch a snippet of it, but we've been rushing around today. And uh, the reason we started uh, late was our good friend Terence has opened a makerspace in Seattle that's like a free for games industry and friends to use. And it was the opening tonight, which was really good. Except for, as I was saying to Fiona, they had a non-alcoholic bar. That's great. I was necking mock tiles like there's no tomorrow and took into no regard how much sugar is in those. So I'm currently 
I have the power of a thousand, like, skittle-imbued toddlers. <laughs> God. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I would invite you and uh, DJ to just come sail with us now, but y'all have been going all day. Yeah. Ah, I found the water. But yeah, I hope you all had a really fucking good time, friends. Uh, Paper Wings and everybody who's trying to follow. That's fucking cool of you. So very quickly, to those of you who just joined us, let me introduce us. Uh... My name is Will. Um, I'm a games industry survivor and streamer by trade. I'm joined on the line currently by Fiona. Uh, That's me. And DJ's in with another 130 people! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> DJ's like, wait, wait, I just got here, start over. <laughs> hey Dan, I heard you streamed for 10 hours, you wanna come sail? <laughs> Oh my word! DJ, Whitehawk, Navi, Chroma Capybara, MDH, Ooh, Quincy Maru, Watto and welcome. Oh, please be nice to Yaz! Watto and welcome. Hello, hello. We are two Dan's deep on a Friday night. How's that for a good time? Uh, so, Count the Tsar, and to all who just joined us, Watto and welcome. Why are we up so late? Well, Fiona and I were out supporting our good friend, uh, Terence, who has helped open up a free makerspace in the Seattle area. So for video games and artistic individuals, it's a free space with resources that you can use. And I think that's really cool. Like, Terence has been talking about doing this for years, and he put his money where his mouth is. At a time when we're all broke as shit, I think we can appreciate, like, a free space to go and work, right? Uh, Lingo Maniac, it was awesome. If it looks like I have crazy eyes, there was a bar specifically non-alcoholic. So me, as a rampant pisshead, was like, yep, yeah, brilliant, mocktails, I can have as many as I want, and I don't have to worry. Now... You essentially are like a toddler in in just adult form. I am, like, I... the f You just... <laughs> I can't believe you had that many that you got yourself on a sugar high. I'm restraining you, the amount of energy I have dingus. right now. <laughs> you fucking dingus. I know, but like I was saying to the squad earlier, because my brain is like, oh, there's no alcohol in these, so I don't have to worry about getting wasted. <laughs> so I'm just like, bam, 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 bam. Now I can see through space and time. Um, but again, to introduce our lovely selves. Hi, if we've never met, my name is Will. Uh, I worked and work in video games. Uh, I stream for a living, and on Friday nights, I get my squad together, and we play Sea of Thieves. Um, yeah. Most of the squad is either running late or has been layaway, because usually we would start earlier, but because we're supporting friendos. Uh, I am joined by Cannoneer to the Stars, and it's they me. them of great violence. Uh, Fiona, hello. Hello, hello. Let's commit murders. Indeed. So yeah, how's that for an intro? All right. Yeah. Give me your uh, your out of ten ratings on that. Gay <laughs> uh, murder. Murder. Oh. Got I got an eleven from Smidge. Now I know I'm doing good tonight. <laughs> Go for two hundred twenty out of ten plus a hundred and thirty. But no, but seriously, all of you thrown in follows, like, I really appreciate it, yo. Um, so yeah, come on in. Sure. I'm uh, sure. If you've got any questions about Sea of Thieves, video games in general, or what have you, ask away. Um, we're currently thinking about doing a, uh, a one of the newer raids, which, it's still the older content, but you get your gear up, you raise like an emissary, and then you dive for like a specific fight. And if you complete it, you get extra special goodies. Usually we're on a galleon, so it's going to be weird flying fast and loose in a sloop, but we'll we'll get it going. Oh, no, and seriously, Gopher, Alexander, Herring, the luminous underscore knight. All, right, all of you, thank you. And, uh, yeah, Fiona, if I end up talking at a million miles an hour, feel free to yell at me. Hey, Will. What? Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Come back for a chat anytime. <laughs> but yeah, the only thing about today that I'm a little bit sad Fire about is I didn't get to watch 
Floydo and DJ doing the um, the multi randomizer. So to my lot, if you've never seen it, I'm I'm fascinated with the idea. I don't know when I'm going to get the chance to try it as well, but the idea that you have two randomizers going side by side that essentially interact with each other. And I think tonight it was uh, Hollow Knight and Ocarina of Time. Oh wow! Yeah. So both were, both games are being played simultaneously, and I believe they're either sharing items back and forth, or certain unlocks are found in each game that correspond to the other person's title. Yeah, Roguelink <clears throat> Archipelago is incredible. <laughs> so, to his light suggesting I just do Red Bull and vodka. Oh god, no. Although I did do that at the GGP rave at GDC. Um, and me and my good friend Eric did in fact shake booty to booty to uh, Taylor Swift's Shake It Off that night. <laughs> it was a good time. It's still I hear. <laughs> it was just Eric showed up with one large vodka Red Bull and one small vodka Red Bull. Gave them both to me and I just went... Huh, and let me show you the drink of my people, and I poured one into the other. Oh, so uh, Lazy Dog Jumper was asking what we think about safer seas. Sure, my jersey is yeah. always open for you. I haven't used it because I like chaos, but I'm happy about it because some people don't like to play this game because it is kind of, I don't know, uh, bullying sometimes. So I appreciate, I appreciate that. Yeah. So lazy. Safe spaces are good. Yeah. And it's a much better tutorial than a lot of the other systems. Like it does teach you how to sail really good. And ultimately a lot of this, it's not PVP like other games. It's not as, as fast and as, the time to kill is very slow. And the game is ultimately very contextual, so it's a lot more spongy. So yeah, Safer Seas can be a ton of fun if you want to learn to play. And you don't have to go PvP. Hell, yeah. we're going to probably be avoiding fights where we can. E. Oh, I put us up for a Gold Hoarders uh, emissary. And I'm going to get us a, uh, a diveable mission available. Okay. I'm just making the boat extra pretty. Okay. We're in no rush. Do, 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 do. But yeah, as Quincy's saying, you can absolutely like man a sloop by yourself, or pilot a sloop by yourself. Uh, it's just that thing of like understanding that you're you're gonna want to be avoiding other players where possible, right? One of the reasons why I love this game so much is that like if we see a ship on the horizon. <laughs> We got like four, five minutes until they're on us, so we can yeah. either make a plan and make a choice. You know, it's not like the old shooty gun bang games where you blink and suddenly you've had your non-denominationals blown out of the back of you. It's, yeah. Well, and Lazy Dog, the other thing that um, this game does very well is that. At first, you feel like it's all about treasure, all about the loot. Ultimately, it ends up being uh, an emergent story game. Like, I've got... How much cash have I got? Nine million. And there's nothing to spend it on. But I still love it because it's about the experience. You can't buy levels. You can't buy stronger kit. Everybody starts off on the same field. Two bells. Like... That's fucking great. Oh, I didn't buy us a, can uh, a cannibal crate. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll go get one of those. I don't... Uh, and I don't... Yeah, I don't really have any preference on what you want to do. So if you just want to kind of, like, point and click. Yeah, I was thinking one of the, the skeletal forts. We can buckle some swash, shoot some skellies, and get that good good. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. And yes, Alexander, that is the Lost Vikings It is gift. a Reaper. Yes. Chaos. 
you want to go hunt the Reaper? No. Because if we if we dive, for we the ended thing... up there. All right. Well, it's but I don't know. If, well, I mean, I, uh, we're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. Not for what? that kind of chaos. Well, I tell you what. If instead of diving, we can keep the gold hoarders up, right? But what if we go for that? Uh, I thought I saw a. Oh God. <laughs> Damn it. Got your sea legs. Oh, I was sorry. looking at his check. Yeah, I forgot I was on the tent. That uh, re if the Reaper in question is bearing north northwest, I think they're a two mast. I think it's a brig. Oh. Yeah. That's not ideal. Um. No, come on. No, and lazy dog. I completely understand where you're coming from in wanting a specific kind of experience. I think safer seas is still fun. It's just that we've been doing this for so long, and we kind of came from the Blackout Club and other stuff, so we were already kind of conditioned to, like, laugh it off with a lot of PvP stuff. And we take great joy in making terrible people's lives worse. Right, Fiona, remember the, the night of the many slurs? Yeah. Um, I'm having a, a bug, I think. What's going I on can't there? get into my quest radio. The Q oh, on the just... keyboard. Huh. I can't. I think I might need to come back and go out and come back. Okay. Well, I, I can talk to these lovely Mother Hubbards. We got loads of time. And Quincy, thank you for the follow. I thank you all. Good evening, Fred. But yeah, so suffice it to say, we had some individuals that used some choice. Uh, uh, some choice language, and what we did to them has been well documented in many clips. Yeah. Well, and so Lazy Dog, that's just the other thing I want to say, is like, Safer Seas isn't as volatile, but you can still have those stories, right? Like, this game isn't just about number go up. And I think that's where it shines over others in the market. It's the least stressful emergent narrative game. It's the most open. <laughs> In case I accidentally blip beneath the waves and Fiona's like, I don't know where you've gone. Anyway, actually, I realise I haven't got. I'm my, on my way back in. I haven't got my captain's jacket or um, low poly yet. We should get low poly of Pikachu to hang out today. Well, what if I what if I wanted to bring back out moldy cheese? Oh yeah, moldy cheese is fucking cool. Yeah, that's fair. So yeah. Ultimately this game is about having fun with your friends. And personally I enjoy the spice of having other players there because it adds some it adds some some fear and some adrenaline to the evening. But you don't need that for the fun of it. Anyway. But yeah, so if any of you have any other questions about the Sea of Thieves, I genuinely love this game. And if I can help other people get into it, then I absolutely will. Boy! Oh, there we go. It's my burp. If you all want to post the feckin' Chest of Sorrows video, then so <laughs> be it. I, we have gone on so many voyages. We have sailed like professional pirates. And yet still, still, I am reminded of my crimes. Okay, so we're, we're we good now. Okay. Um, so if we want to stay on this particular server... Ooh, and the person Ancient Spire isn't a proper Reaper. They're just flagged for a fight. Yeah. So they, they don't know where we are. Um, oh! <coughs> although there is... There's a PvP battle going on over by Mermaid's Hideaway. Okay. We could just do a Vault Natter. See what comes our way. I can do. Yeah, let's... You know what? Let's go for a... Let's go for a treasure hunt. Oh, hell, 
could go for a sp we could go for a spicy treasure hunt. Get that big money. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm just really tired. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was I was better conversation at this moment, but uh man. Sorry, we can Body be tired today. <laughs> Body do be like that. Yeah. Um, lazy dog, thank you for the follow. Thank you all. Um so that does mean that if we're not being excellent conversations, then again, you can ask us. You can ask us questions. Um, firstly, uh, you know what? We'll just go for a regular captain's vault. That'll, uh, if you wouldn't mind voting on it, and that'll yep. give us a setup. Um, I deserve the beverage that I'm having because guess who got through two episodes of the Fallout TV show with Fiona and didn't info dump on them? Like, I didn't realize how much knowledge I had about Fallout until we started watching it, and I felt this uncontrollable urge to be like, Well, actually! <laughs> Do you want me to answer? Well, you kept asking me <laughs> questions! And in my heart, I'm like, you have asked me something that I could do an unprompted two-hour TED Talk on it. <laughs> I didn't know! What do the vault numbers mean? Don't ask me that if you're not prepared to hear. <laughs> That's not how you phrased it. Like, do you want me to tell you, or do you want me to wait wait till you find out? And I'm like, well, now I don't know. <laughs> Fred says it can't have been Will. He doesn't have the willpower to hold his tongue. Yeah. It's a really good show, so I don't want to spoil I've, it. I've, I've never played a Fallout game. So, <laughs> like, my toxic trait is that I've not played a lot of older video games. Oh, that's not a toxic There's trait. There's... <laughs> um but like i kind of i understood the references so yeah um that was cool uh but otherwise like i know nothing about like the storyline or the gameplay or anything like that so it was just i i was going in blind um yeah and i think it well at least from what you were saying it's still a good show if you know that yeah, I was still entertained. Um, but like I... Lazy Dog Jumper, right? Gary. Gary. <laughs> and you can't even start explaining it without giving somebody like a fucking Salmarillion level amount of information. Yeah, I haven't played Skyrim either. I did just get Baldur's Gate 3, so... Nobody tell me anything. Which was very adorable. And, um... Uh... Yeah, Although, I, I, that's, that's like, the only new-ish thing. Oh, God, we're coming in hot. We're yeah. coming in hot. Oh, I, oh, no. I guess oh, he's no. not used to driving a fucking sloop. Oh, God. We'll be fine! Okay, we're fine. All right. I, I did not have a lot of hope there. I'm not our main helmsman. I'm not our main helmsman, and usually we're on a galleon, so I'm kind of. Oh, there's one of Nick's kids on the. Uh... Damn it. Fiona. What? What would Nick say? At least try to hit it. Oh man. Nope. Got to correct for the ah! Beans. On my last one. Oh! Ah. Oh! oh! His mate no! did a get down, Mr. President! <laughs> oh, that was totally on track. That's how you get it done. No! No, it has value! No! Oh, that was almost so bad, Will. <laughs> right! That was almost I so almost bad. just fucking ruined our night. <laughs> it um, was almost game o just game over. Actually, so here's a question for everybody that's just joined us. Have you ever watched a stream of Skyrim? And how was it? Because, like, I, like a lot of people, I binged Skyrim back in the day. And had a great time doing it. But, like, I... 
I haven't watched anybody stream it, and I'm kind of curious because Skyrim's not a big story game. It's like 50 little stories, but it's all in one space. Uh, yeah, Fred's right. As Nick would say, it's Will's fault, you're fine. <laughs> I am the captain, yet somehow the most bullied member of the crew. Okay, so... Uh, Cond was saying that the spiffing Brit does some interesting ones, I would imagine. Damien's watched a few people do, like, crowd control runs. Which I assume must be very, very interesting. Damn, Fred is being merciless tonight. Bullied, Will? Or called out for your crimes? Jesus. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> get down! <laughs> and that's how we get it done. Oh, my face! <laughs> Piggly! Piggly, no! Oh, no. Piggly shouldn't have been there. Caught in the crossfire of a war Piggly never signed up for. <laughs> Can't believe you've done this. Alright, we got some. Where's the skelly? Oh, it's up this way. Uh, oh! Yeah, Lazy Dog, you speak the old memes. What did you find? I heard you from the other room. Oh! <laughs> the other made friends. Scared me. Okay. Alright, where is it? Somewhere around this little loop here? I think it's here. Yeah! Oh! I oh, have what? made several friends. Um, so Iko was saying they've, uh, haven't, oh, really? they haven't watched anyone stream it, but they've watched some playthroughs. Like, okay. And Damien was watching uh, somebody do crowd control with Skyrim. I don't know, and so the reason I ask is because, like, you know, while Fiona hasn't been streaming a whole bunch, I and others are still trying to bully them into more. And I wonder if, like, in the year of our Lord Shadow the Hedgehog 2024, watching someone stream Skyrim is interesting. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like, it's not... I don't think it's really my, my jam. Not fair. Like, the thing is, like, I couldn't do it because I spent so much time on it that I can no longer see it with fresh eyes, right? Now, Chauner's just saying they don't feel that Skyrim streams well. That's how I feel... But then I realised I've never watched it being streamed, so maybe I'm I'm missing it. Fiona and I uh, argued back and forth for quite a while because I didn't think that I could stream uh, Civilization well. And yeah. Then we, and then we played Blood Dragon mode, and I was like, "Oh, it's actually good." I never doubted it was good. I just didn't think I could stream it. You know? It's fast paced. Mm. The Fallout games have more of an overarching story to each of them, which makes them a little bit more streamable, in my humble opinion. Oh, this was a good haul. There's a little storage crate. I'm... That is nice. Well, I'll take a good win. All right. It's one of those small islands near to us. Oh my god, and we got nothing. I think I know which island it is. I want to say Thieves Haven. But I might be... Uh... It's like straight ahead. Um, oh, so Lazy Job... Lazy... Lazy to starboard. Uh, Sorry. No, no worry. Uh, Lazy Dog, I love Fallout 2. I, again, I don't think I could stream it because, like, the amount of my youth spent playing that game. I can regale you with stories. 
Um, my first successful playthrough, uh, as in like I got the ending of Fallout 2, was because I, I killed a man in Reno <laughs> just to steal his shit. Oh, it's gonna be a Paradise Spring, so like we don't. It, it's a small island, so. Okay. That, that's the nice part about it. So as soon as we get that X. I think it's this island up ahead? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Quincy says Thieves Haven. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Favorite island. Have you done the uh, Thieves Haven, Haven fun run? We have to run around digging up impossible treasure. Because I'm still haunted by that. But I also, like, for, for Fiona who hasn't played a Fallout game, I don't think 2 is a good starting position. Because it's so... Cannon dinghy! Oh, fuck yes! That's more gun. Don't tell Tobias. I'm just using the no-no button. <laughs> so yeah, and the thing I was pondering, and I, I talked about a lot with uh, the Longship, our little stream lot, was how... Fallout 3 has probably one of the, the best simple stories. New Vegas is obviously the gold standard. If we don't talk about how janky it was at launch. But Fallout 4 has so many systems that I love, but has a story that I could not give a wet fart oh God. to regard to. I'll come help you. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. I keep forgetting you don't have like Deus and Nick backing you up. He's coming right for you! Twinsies! Sword Twinsies. There we go. I'll get the uh, the Disney stick. Yeah, we've got. Dingy. Dingunst. Ooh. Lance says, wait, you don't like the, the tale of, of tragic frozen tube wife and baby of destiny? I mean, we talked a lot about it in that they never give you enough time to care about your, your air quotes kid. Honestly, it wasn't until I watched um, uh, the Monster Factory on it that I even regarded the, the wee baby. No, no, oh god. No, oh, just Metal. overshot it. <laughs> Metal husband. Metal husband, not like Trash Hulk. Little baby with the... Little baby clean on the inside. Like, that was the best thing anyone did with that. Uh, but... Final Pam fix baby. Ooh, I'll take a vestige of power. There's no way this corrupts my mortal soul. But, like, ultimately, from a game design perspective, we're never given enough time with our child to care about them. And I've spoken to people that do have kids, and they also felt very similarly. So when your main motivation is to run around the wasteland saving this child, and you're like, nah, I'm good. Like, the snakes. The game ultimately fails in kind of motivating us at the call to action stage, right? Uh, oh, what was the... Hang on, let me see if I can find this ruddy treasure. I think it is here. Fuck you. Oh. No! <laughs> I can't rebury it. If you want can we keep him? Oh no. Come on! Look no, at, it. Look at no. his little face. Look at what his happened face. to the Look what happened to the last time we did we had one of those on board. Uh Sage Bell blew us up and it was really arty and we had a great it time. It was really cool, but But we died instantaneously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we didn't die instantly. That ship went down. That, that was the I don't know how thing. I survived. That was, this is a storm. This isn't as bad. All we need to get is, is stuck in one one thing, Majig. Come on. Can we keep him? 
Look at his little face. In the arms of the angel. <laughs> no. For just two dollars a month, you can save one of Nick's kids from pirates that don't respect him. Come to Nick's adoption agency today. <laughs> See, I care more about this cake than I do the baby from Fallout 4. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Your funeral. Yeah. You got the uh, the reliquy and stuff, right? Oh, no. Because they're not glistening. That is weird. Man. Having this thing on the ship is not going to be helpful. Psh. It's going to be awesome. Two bells. One of us is going to forget that it's up here. <laughs> Sorry, Lance just said, still a better baby than Fallout 4. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, I mean, I know I'm. most of you probably know this, but it's like most of the Fallout games give you a nice, simple premise at the beginning, and then it's by exploring the wasteland you understand the complexities of the world you're in. And I love that. Fallout 1. Ah, oh, shit. Water chip's fucked. All right, we're going to go get another one. Fallout 2. Village is fucked. Got to go get a new one. Oh, the Garden of Eden creation kit, the Gek. Fallout 3. Dad's gone. What do you mean, Dad's gone? Dad's gone. Liam Neeson fucked off. Why'd he fuck off? I don't know. Go find him. He's your dad. Um... <laughs> I like those are good, simple premises. Fallout 4. You were in Cryotube, and your baby got nicked, and then you went back to cryosleep, and then you kind of woke up. I guess? Hey, when life gives you lemons, you find a new dad! <laughs> oh, Fiona, we could maybe bust this vault. What? The vault, we've got like the snifter of an X. If you're feeling, uh, mm. if you're feeling intellectual, I I have like one more map piece. Okay. Let's get a. Uh... I'm not feeling that confident. Okay. It looks like it's like directly to our aft. Okay. But yes, Fred, busting does make me feel good. Uh, anyway, I won't say any more. I because I genuinely don't want to spoil it. I think the Fallout telly show is a really good example of like how to adapt a game into another medium. And it really does take both people who have seen everything that Fallout has to offer and people who have seen nothing, puts everybody on an even keel. And, you know. Is it definitely to aft? Um, it's pointing kind of like that big, bigger island-ish, maybe. Okay. Yeah, the one right, right behind us, basically. Hmm. Well, so lazy again. I've been very, very lucky because like Fiona's never played a Fallout game, so I get to kind of experience it clear, which is it's not like watching somebody watching a show, right? Right, let me tell you, I should probably watch season two of The Last of Us Part Two. I'm oh, sorry, the se season two of The Last of Us, which is part two by myself, because I'm going to be fucking insufferable watching that. <laughs> because I actually think that the the second season of The Last of Us TV show is going to be superior to the game. Oh, actually, Fiona, how do you feel about doing a quick wreck dive? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I see a, a shipwreck to our port. Alright, 30 degrees port. I'm kind of good on diving, because it's, it's just me diving. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm good. I'm good, though. Is it on the thief's haven? Oh, I bet it bloody is. Well, I keep forgetting we're in a sloop, so I can take us through the middle and we can see. It's nice being able to do most of the piloting solo. 
Yeah, it's definitely on Thieves Haven. Yeah. I think it is, like, right off to here. Uh, actually, uh, Dustin, I think I made the kick a ghoul in the face with your energy legs joke on episode two. <laughs> so. And guess whose head it went directly over. Shazoo! Anyway, I, I feel if we continue talking about um, Fallout, I'll accidentally either spoil shit or say too much, so yeah. Um, I will say that the Fallout London mod drops in two weeks. Two weeks on Tuesday. Now, it's a mod project, so we can't know for sure it's going to drop that day. However, I am very, very excited to try it. Just because... Modding is such a strange place, right? But to do something like a total conversion mod, you need to have a group with a focus. And usually it's based around an existing IP or something along those lines. But this is just a mod that's like, alright, what if a Fallout game was set in London? And win, lose, or draw. Oh, no. What? It's not on. It's not here. What? No! Yeah, it's not here. Ah, oh, shit down my leg. Are you sure? I'm positive. Like, I'm in the ocean. Oh, I was actively oh, swimming away. <laughs> what? No! Sorry. Uh, That's so gross. <laughs> sorry, that was something Craig used to say, and I I apologize everyone for saying that. I didn't realize I was <laughs> until I started saying it. Oh, it's you. Oh, fucking islands. Do you want to have a skim around yeah. and see if there's any treasure? I mean, it's just you and me, so... Yeah. Uh, Vert says, what are my thoughts on Fallout 76? Um, I... I am very glad that I am friends with Kimball, because Kimball kind of... One of the things we're very guilty, both industry and non-industry, is that we can get very set in our ways when it comes to an opinion about a game or a franchise. Fallout 76 was a disastrous launch from both a <laughs> marketing standpoint and from an actually playing it standpoint. However, they put a lot of hours in and they really did turn it into something feckin' cool, you know? I The moment I found out that uh, Jason Mewes plays a ghoul in it, I was like, why have I been snubbing this game? But... It was Kimball and Friends who played it as they were a traveling band that went from like NPC village to NPC village doing shows. And I was like, shit, Fallout 76 is more of the you gotta you gotta fight for your right to LARP than it is a kind of traditional Fallout game. And I once I got that, I was like, ah, oh, I fucking get it now. Oi. Not for me, interested. Some troublesome skeletons. I am genuinely looking forward to getting a group of people together, getting a private server, and I know it costs, which is why I haven't done it anytime soon, and playing through it like that. You know? Although the next one on my list as a group game is going to be Abiotic Reactor, or however you feckin' pronounce it. You having fun out there? Yeah. Trying to get this one guy. Oh, he's just out of my reach. Damn it. I'm a terrible shot today. <laughs> we're, we're tired and, uh, I wouldn't say drunk, but, uh, there's been a lot going on recently. I didn't really find anything on the shores. I haven't... Yeah, I haven't found a snifter of anything so far. Oh, wait, no, I... Oh, my word. I just saw a message in a bottle, and I forgot the messages in a bottle are now good, and not 
fucking terrible. So I'll go grab that and see what it gets us. Uh, and yes, Dustin, is it abiotic factor? God, I've been calling it abiotic reactor. Nice work, dingus! <gasps> oh, I hate it. Uh, if you haven't seen that, friends, so abiotic factor is a survival game set in not Black Mesa. So it's not officially Half-Life, but it's Half-Life. And the idea is you and your friends play a bunch of scientists who got stuck inside Devil's Ridge is the Golden Key. No, I don't want to go to Devil's Ridge. Nerds there. But yeah, you and your friends play a group of people who've been trapped inside a Black Mesa-like facility. And it's a craft and survival game. So you have to build, like, armor and weapons out of stationery. You know, every night the uh, the office auto-turns off its systems and activates, like, guard robots and shit. Hey, you kiss at me, sir. Finishing off the skeleton for you. And yeah, so that's going to be dropping soon-ish. And I cannot wait to play that with a squad of people. And that's up to six people, which should be very good. Uh, Alright. Let me do a little bit of... Oh, it's just ammo. Okay, a little bit of sail will get us out of here. I, mean, I hope that answers your question. Like, like a lot of people, I was ready to write off Fallout 76 and how it really did feel like it was something that didn't understand what Fallout's about, you know? As someone who played Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, uh, sorry, Fallout Tactics and Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, like, I get it. Sometimes that franchise has gone weird places. You know, I was saying to Fiona, it's like, it's hard to remember that Interplay had it and fumbled it. Mm hmm. The original creators, they got weird. And yeah, sure, like a Fallout MMO sounds fascinating, but they could not deliver it, it bankrupted them. Okay. Again, I don't want to alienate our non-fallout-induced uh, individuals, so change the subject to touch. Is it these? Is it this little like group of rocks up here? It sure looks like it, doesn't it? All right. I mean, we're in a sloop, so it's going to be easy peasy sailing in. Usually, when we're going through here, we're getting chased and trying to avoid people. <laughs> Sorry, Dustin said, sleep, sugar, and fallout. Will is literally tired, wired, and inspired. Yeah, I think it's here. Darn it. Maybe? Well, at least we didn't spend like two hours getting stuck on uh, mm. Haven. Well, either way, uh, adoption's afoot. Uh, no, it is. All right, let's see if I still got the gear. we go! That is why I do what I do. <laughs> you find it, you make it friends. Oh no! Do that. Farts. I, I mean, if you want to fight him. I'll save you Dave Skeleton there. Okay, so we've gone quite close to uh, pseudo-banned topics that Bill should not be allowed to talk about, i.e. The Last of Us Part 2 and Fallout. Uh, 
What else have we got? <laughs> oh, we have it. We have it. We have it. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to check the island. There is a, uh, a merm statue. So we could just blow the fuck out of that. Okay. And we are, like, pretty much right next to where we need to go. Ah, I'd fucking love that for us. We might want to boost the gold hoarders a little before we do, but... Oh, uh, can I get a hand? There is an Ashen Bastard here. Yep. Oh! Merm's done! Time um, to merm. I did see a sloop, and I'm just trying to figure out where I saw them. And if they are anywhere nearby. That's all we gotta worry about. Yeah. I don't remember where I saw them. Okay, firstly, ow. Secondly... Hey Quincy, there's very few things that explosives don't make better in this game. Darn it, why won't you die? It's, it's okay, no, you should be allowed to dynamite fish in this. I think it's unfair that you can't. And it feels like a personal affront to me and me alone. It's the I don't see them anymore. I do see the brig, but they're like way out in the distance. Okay. I got uh, a skull and a key over here. Popping the, the skull over. And uh, a little bit more tracer over here. Uh, so jump me back. Oh, uh, Alexander was asking if we played the Civ 4 mod, um, uh, Fall from Heaven. I did not. I... Right around the time Civ 4 dropped, I was working on uh, the Total War franchise. So I was spending a lot, a lot of time uh, talking about Civ and strategy games. Okay, so. Found some more treasure. They took exception to that. But it means we have the key as well. So we can just crack this open. Hell yeah. Thank you, Moldy Cheese. I'm gonna get the key. And also, like, it's been long enough since I've worked in CA that I can kind of talk about it, but one of the hard things about working in a games company is you have to pretend that mods don't exist sometimes. So, like, for Total War, uh, I think it was for... Uh, I want to say Empire? No, no, um, Med 2. There was a Zelda mod that was fucking brilliant. And I had to spend so much time pretending like I had no idea it existed. Oh, oh, Zelda? Zelda mod? Nope, never heard of it. Need me to bring it closer? Nope! No! <laughs> nope! Actually, it turns out I'm good. Never doubted your aim, that's for bloody sure. Oh, and to Bunny Bro, thank you kindly for the follow. I will say, the like, no shade to the rest of the crew. I'm a little sad they're not here, just because there's so many of our usual pirates I'd love to introduce you all to. So if you are enjoying... Oh, yeah. yeah. if you're enjoying our mischief this evening, please, please, please come on by on a following Friday, because, like, Ems and it's Kyle usually and Nessa and Nick... We get the galleon together, we get into chaos. Yup. There is crazy sauce. It's it's, it's a lot well, more fun. So speaking of ca crazy sauce, Fiona, there is a fleet of fortune on. Oh god, we have a fucking keg that would blow us to pieces in or the crow's nest. Would blow one of them to pieces. No, no, we won't. What is your what is your monocle that I see? For me, it sees victory in the sky. Out of your mind. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, but Out yeah, of your mind. You're right. If you think that we're not gonna die, with I am so far tired. 
Okay. Like. And we're right I, close to Paradise Spring. Okay. I am so tired. I don't think I would be able to aim properly. Like we're like we're like I'm really off my game today. Okay. Look, I'm I'm happy we're getting to sail. Yeah, we're getting out there. I can I can literally see where we got to go to pick up our uh, our key. Um, but yeah, so there's this thing in modding and sort of in emulation, where so long as you can legal well, legally, so long as you could say honestly in a court of law you have no idea it exists, you don't have to take it down. But as soon as something becomes so popular, if it's based on an existing IP, you have to act. So, yeah. So yeah, Alexander, I don't know if I had a physical reaction to your question. <laughs> and Angel Clean's like, me too, Fiona. Me too. Big tired, man. I'm off my game. <laughs> I feel bad, cause like you should like there's enough people in here that they could see the chaos. You know, I wish I could show you guys the chaos. Right. But unfortunately, I I'd have to hard carry for two two other people who aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> and like Nick and Deus have a flavor of chaos that we can't we can't just replicate with you know sugar and alcohol you yeah, know and I, I haven't had any alcohol I'll tell you what, Quincy, if you come on by for an evening when we have a full crew, I'll show you chaos. The point where we just started screaming at those awful people, we don't want your treasure, just your blood, might be one of our final <laughs> targets. And we thank them so hard. Yeah, they came back, we wrecked them again. Ugh. Okay. Well, Alexander says after 11 hours of Dan and also Dan... Some calm is quite nice. All right. Well, glad we can we can be there for that. Yeah. Although whether or not it stays calm isn't up to us. That's up to the Sea of Thieves. I'm usually better at this. Yeah. Oh, there you go. In one. Oh. Oh. Apparently, Moldy Cheese does not like skeletons. Murder. Pikachu is unfucking fast. Sorry, um, low poly. Low poly. Pikachu is mine. It's just such a good name. We. Uh, and we are Crooks Hollow. Okay, can do that. Ooh, grade five for Hoarder of Vault Keys. Check me out. Ah, would you do the honors? Oh, yeah. Oh, just as a quick FYI, because I know um, Lazy Dog Jumper was asking about it earlier. So, the one thing that is worth stating is that Safer Seas includes the story missions. Hey! That pineapple belongs on a pizza. Fuck me running! Uh, Agadanaki just threw in 50 bucks for pineapple belongs on pizza. We can't afford pineapple pizza right now. Um, we need that money for groceries and medicine for the dogs. But yes. I'm with you, alright? Uh, though, I will say, from the event we went to, we got sent home with a box of pizza because they're, like, Terrence so hyper ordered it's, really it's good. so good. But no, Aganaki, thank you so fucking much. The Yaldum is yours. You have an inordinate amount of health. What will you do with your rule? Sorry, for those of you who are new here, our bit boss is the Yarl, the, the true ruler of the day. And, yo, I pay my bills, thanks to the stream. This is how rent gets made. 
So, when I say thank you, I really fucking mean it. It's 50 bucks. Alright. A Crook's Hollow is super oh, close right there. as well. Bless. And where, where do we gotta go after that? Uh, to turn this stuff in. We're equidistance between Plunder and Ancient Spire. We should probably do Plunder because I think we started at Ancient Spire today. I think we did. Uh, yeah, I guess we could, yeah. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Yay! are four reptilian heroes have overcome the arc villain Shredder. Hey. And to Alexander, that's really fucking kind of you. You got Sharky Ann, Lord We Bit Crab Flap, <laughs> a true gentleman's name. Uh, you've got uh, Opposed Soul World. You've got Rudism, which is a very high pull, and Brickhead, Ed. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's uh, it. Northeast, jobs are good. Let's go. Because we, we, we have a very tired, tired baby, Fiona. Well... I'll I'll do some uh, some solo sleep vision chest these lovely There you go. All systems nominal. Uh, and Alexander. Go fishing. Yeah, I'll go fishing. Like you know me, I love to natter, and I'm so full of fucking sugar, I'm gonna be awake for hours. What the fuck was that? It's fish people and an ashen lord there. Do we wanna do we wanna murder him? Oh. They're beating the crap out of each other. Yeah, I kind of don't want to interrupt. No. Feels like it might be a bit rude. They're having, they're having some, some. They gotta work out their emotions over there. Okay. Hey. Did somebody say fishing? <laughs> Fuck off. Burn flow. Thank you. Burn threw in five bucks to us. Aww. Did someone say fishing? Wasn't fishing. I can only give you fifty dollars. Like, I don't know how much uh, Amos's medicine was today, but I know that takes a chunk out of it. Um... Actually, yeah, maybe we shouldn't say. No, no, no. Uh, we, I think it's still... We're waiting to see. Okay. It might be covered under uh, a thingy that I got. Oh, lovely. From the Humane Society. Well, and Alexander... Thank you for grabbing yourself yourself. That's fucking cool. You know? Like I said, I'm really fucking appreciative of it. Uh, oh, Crook's Hollow, we want to go around the back, don't we? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I'm kind of hoping that if anyone is spicy tonight, they're going to go for the um, Battle for Sea of Thieves. Right. Just please leave us alone. <laughs> But just a small sloop. We'll just definitely, a little baby. We'll definitely check the horizon before we do anything. Right, you are moldy cheese. I think. Oh, because, yeah, in Crook's Hollow, it's in the central point, right? And so I any of these entrances are good, right? You've been asking the wrong person. <laughs> here come, here they come. They found me. Ah, oh, beans. We've been rumbled. The two high police have found you. All right. Let me just check the nest from the nest real quick. And then, oh shit! We gotta go. What? Galleon oh. inbound. Oh. The dread oh, god. oh god! Oh god! Oh right, god! Oh god! Go. Might be a little scrapey, but we're good. All right. We'll do a lap of the island, see if they uh, react. We do have that storm keg if they choose to choose uh, to chase, and either you can blow them up or I'll take the helm. Yeah, no, they're moving on an intercept course. Oh God. They're not flying the Reaper's colours, so they won't be able to see us. We could lose them in the, the fog by... Oh shit, now it's getting spicy. If you wanted conversation from us, friend, your window has closed. So here's what I'm thinking, Fiona. We head in towards... 
Devil's Island. Wait, 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 wait. Well, they're not tacking to wins. So they're not good. Oh, no, here they go. Yeah, no, nah, they're fucking chasing. Okay, so we're going to go in to the Devil's Ball Bag or whatever it is, whip right, around, right. and then sail against the wind. If they choose to chase us, then we keg the fuck out of them. Like, storm keg to the nose. There we go. That's why you check. Because <laughs> <laughs> of those of you who haven't sailed before, so a galleon is faster if it has the wind because it has three sheets. Against the wind, it slows right the fuck down. That's why I'm staying on on the sails right now, making sure that I'm keeping them tacked. Yeah. And thankfully, our usual uh, helmsmith uh, M's, while they aren't sadly uh, piloting, I've watched them pilot a lot, so I've been able to learn a lot. On us. Alright, you know what? Leave the tack. Uh, get ready for some hook turns. Because unfortunately they've managed to keep with us enough. Go. Alright, go. Oh, farts! I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh no, I need you to hook us out! I'll try. Just keep patching. I just fixed that! Yeah, we're in trouble. Well... Might be good. Yeah, they're tacking towards us. Alright, and that's good. Alright, so if they want to fucking follow us, they can follow us against the wind into open water. <laughs> Enjoy going fucking three miles an hour, you chunky shit bastard. So now I just need to make sure the helm is against the wind. Give up? They fired a shot across us. Oh, uh, there they go. Yeah, they did some cheeky donut donuts. Uh, if they choose to pursue, they can pursue. But honestly, I think we just we just hold this course and make them uh, regret their life choices. Oh my goodness. We've got miles of water. <laughs> All right. Now, friends, you can ask questions again. They Man. just fired somebody. They're looking for us. Ha <laughs> ha! Clap dabbing on your shit. Yeah, they full sail gaming. <laughs> They ain't got them good sails. It could be Tuck, but it's a... But it's a captain ship, so what's the point? Should probably look and see where we're going. Alright, you are, multi cheese. Like, I wonder if one of us could jump off and get them. Do you want to shot the first one? So you take regular keg or storm keg? Because honestly, the storm keg off the ship wouldn't be awful, right? Honest. I don't know if I can... Ah, oh, they're turning away! Oh, they're turning, they're ah, turning! Ah, wakers! <laughs> or are they going to try and do another chip shot? They might. Ain't that good. Nah, they're giving up. Hey, bastards! See, and this is this is what makes PvP in this game so good. I mean, we we can't beat them 
in terms of guns. We could outmaneuver yeah. them if Fiona wasn't sleepy. Because uh, Fiona, yeah. was, your crack is good on the cannons. We could just, like, chip away at them. If... Yeah, but no. And I don't even know that... I don't... I don't even know that it's safe to actually go do that. Uh, fuck it. The vault? Vault. No. Uh. It's alright, we'll head down towards, uh, Thieves and some other places. Where can we go down towards? Well, here's where I am. I'm so tired. I... I can I'm, I can barely keep my eyes open at this point. Like, I think I really do need to go to bed. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, I can't come believe on. you've done this. Oh come on! You knew that I was I was not long for this realm. But I wanted to get out on the seas. No, and we did get to sail for at least a good hour, which is fucking great. Yeah. But I thought this was good. Had a good time. We got a little bit of a little bit of like spices. So I'm I'm glad we didn't have to interact with anyone because I would have I would have just probably cried. Yeah. <laughs> like I can't fire very well at this point. I'm so good at the cannons, I promise. <laughs> like well, I, I'm so good. To those of you watching I am not stopping, so what I'm probably going to do is buckle the swash of some ghosts and then go sell what we have and, I don't know, we'll go fishing. Oh, oh my fucking God. come on! <laughs> what is it? It's a fucking it's, Meg, isn't it? It's a Meg. Do you want to sell the trade? Oh! oh! Fuck you. I think it's the Edgelord as well, yeah. Do you want to sell what it's we've got before you tap out? I'm not fussed, honestly. Like... I kind of just came in here for, you know, not- oh god. Meep! Oh god. Oh meep. I just came in here for, like, not a long time, but, you know, but a good time, and... I think I can make it to the entrance of Thieves Haven before he fucking eats us. Nope, we done pissed him off. You know shit, Sherlock! We're fucking snack attack for this guy! We are lunchable sans the lead! Alright, this might get a little crunchy, but I'm getting us out of here. Moldy cheese is judging me so fucking hard. Yeah, well, so, Moldy you're right. The Megs are still bugged at the moment, which means they do one of two things. They circle you and go ooga booga booga and do nothing. Or they flip your fucking ship and make you look at the bottom of the sea before they destroy you. They make you observe your own mortality before they end you. <laughs> which Pretty much. some... Some being me would say is much fucking worse. Oh, you know what, Yaz, you're right. I shouldn't sell myself short. Those cannonballs, they got plenty of lead in them. And boo, what? Oh, and welcome. The uh, the DJ Playframe Squad all came in at once earlier on possibly the single quietest Sea of Thieves night we've had so far. I know. Like, what are the chances? That's how it be on Twitch. That's how it be. Dot television. <laughs> Part of me's mad that uh, Galleon gave up, but it's fair. I think we would have died. We would have died so hard. No lies detected. Like, I might go hide myself by old Brinestone, get enough treasure for a, a level 5, and then see what happens. You know. Sadly, yeah. none of our usual insomniac pirates are uh, up and about. Uh, <laughs> though, 
Discord's feature of telling people what you're playing uh, amuses me greatly because I'm like, oh, let's have a look at one of our pirates. One of our pirates is up late playing video games. Not playing video games with me, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Should definitely make sure I've got enough planks. Okay. All right. Well, Fiona, well this has been uh, a pleasure. Indeed. And, it's lovely uh, sailing with you. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. What is that? No, that's nothing. Okay. Never mind. Why would you I thought say there that? was a skelly. What? I thought it was a skelly. skelly. And I was going to go, I was going to go, you know. But yeah. Um, if you will direct your, your viewing, your viewing uh, audience to where I am. Um, this is, uh, where I say, uh, good night. I'm find you. Over here. Yep, turn. Keep turning. Keep okay, turning. There, there you go. go. Oh, yep, no! Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's been, it's been great. It's been a, a short time, but I hope everybody has a great rest of your evening. And, uh, this is where I get to say cowabunga. Oh, fuck! <laughs> There's so many holes! <laughs> okay, now we're good. It's just in the arse of the boat. Can't believe you've done this! No, don't goodnight, V! <laughs> don't cowabunga! I'm I didn't honestly think that that was gonna hit you. You really think? But. I'm not hearing a sorry! I can't say I'm sorry either. Ironically, the shark is actually cooked to perfection, so I can't hate that. <laughs> Still. Uh, but okay, yeah. No, this is me going, uh, going to bed then. Okay. Uh, so everybody have a good night. Good night, Fiona. All right, so, and then there was me. Yeah, some nice steamed meat. Uh, or some esteemed meat. Huh? Huh? Ugh, I'm actually sorry about that. Anyway, it's fine. It's about bloody time I uh, learn how to sail one of these things by myself. You know, having a good crew is a strong... Holy shit, the bed! Fiona was holding out on me! Oh boy! Whew, that's a lovely surprise! Um, yeah, I'm gonna head to the Spanish fort, like, swash some buckle over there, and then... Hopefully that'll give me enough. Well, at the very least, I'll then go sell from there. Um, all right, so friends, if you have any thoughts, feels, questions, if you have been curious about Sea of Thieves and would like to know things, if you would like to know things about the games industry, um, if you would like... What was it we were doing yesterday? If you would like a random... Oh, I broke the bloody helm! Fiona! So if you'd like a random fact about um, uh, history, as I was doing the other night, can do you for one of those. Look at this. Bloody shit. Yeah, no, I'm going to check the mast now. Because here's the thing. I think Fiona took the uh, the keg... I broke my bloody dinghy and all. Uh, the keg from the crow's nest. But if not, how did that not just obliterate us? Fiona Helmbreaker. God, that's a good name. Uh, and again, friends, like, joking aside, Fiona is crazy good uh, on cannons. Like, they just decided, like, over the course of, like, a couple of weeks that that was going to be their hyper-focus. I hope I can get past the bloody uh, Megalodon. Square break. No thought. Head empty. You know what? Also valid, friend. Also fucking valid. Um, I I had a wonderful moment uh, grabbing a coffee earlier today when I was talking to somebody and they were mentioning how they've played a lot of games. I was like, they have gamed a lot, but they have not played a lot of games. That they went through a large League of Legends phase through most of their twenties 
and they finally managed to kick the habit, and now they don't really know how to find good games. So it was things like, yo, gotta play... Uh, because we got talking on the subject of puzzle games, like Oprah Din, Outer Wilds, like, you gotta find the good stuff, friend. And I pride myself a lot on being able to play, like, video game sommelier for peeps. Oh, sorry, and the reason I bring it up is because, like, for everything that is going on at the moment, for all the, the stories and bad times and what have you, the one thing that you can say repeatedly is, like, right now, we are in a, like, golden age of video games. Um, I forget who it was that wrote the article, but uh, someone posted up that Baldur's Gate 3 is one of the few games to win every... Oh, beans, I just remembered I have a keg in the nest. I have made... Terrible choices. We'll just get ah! Gate three is one of the few that has done the clean sweep. How is it when I'm in a fucking galleon? You ghostly bastards can't hit the broadside of a barn, but as soon as I have a fucking sloop, I know, no poly. So in a feckin' sloop, these guys suddenly develop sniper aim. Uh, so what happens to the game routine? I might just be brain dead tonight. I'm getting a, a file not found on me noggin. Oh, is that their spot? Yeah, the spot. All right, let's make sure I'm not leaking. Are getting me downstairs? Hey, no, Verdant Flow. This was a late start. This has been a late night. Uh, like, thank you for coming and hanging out. I really appreciate it. All right, go get the good sleep. Uh, Routine was a horror game set in a 1980s retro tech moon base. Fascinating. Yes, I think I remember the one you were talking about. Um, I think so far they've just... Um, they've been radio silent since they talked about uh, switching over to UE5. But I don't think they've said anything else beyond that. So... Like, I'm racking my brain, but I think it's... They're just in, like development uh, silent running mode could be that they're looking for additional funding usually when a dev goes that quiet whilst development has already begun it's usually for a reason you know what I mean all right you ghostly bastards I'm in your house ah! if that person had genitals I'd have fucking broken them I say, who's ready for some more? Keeping an eye out for the uh, the secret key. Especially while the ghosts are being uh, drastically ineffectual. As 
Cooked shark is my witness. I shall not have my swash unbuckled. Okay, square peg. I love this music, except for when it plays ad infinitum during bugs. In which case, you know what? I'm good. I'm gonna level with you. I'm okay. Sir. Perhaps you could be like your friend here. Shot in the face politely. But no, like I said, square peg, I'm, I'm racking my brain and definitely getting a file not found. I know the one with the gajillion clones on a space station that's like, uh, what if moon, but then some. What's in the chest? It's full of ghosts! And if you're wondering how does my character reload a pistol uh, when he has a hook for a hand, uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Moon's haunted? What do you mean the moon's haunted? Probably fight everybody up here, so at least I can keep an eye on the horizon. And oh, that's bad. At least this way, if someone's going to jump us, I can at least know about it. Excuse me, I'm on the top floor. If you'll uh, be so kind. Come, oh. go. Door dash arrived. been Squarepeg since routine made any noise about what they were doing? Because, like, I... I wouldn't have... If you hadn't been here, I would have had to have Googled the heck out of it to remember it, you know? That's all my bullets. First. Temptation to try and blow up a ghost with a keg is very high. Shit, loads of ghosts, two bells! Ah. There's also the worry that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it didn't work! It did not work! In my defense, I was going to light it and drop it. And perhaps, perhaps, that was a plan that needed more thinking through. <laughs> perhaps. I am admitting no fault. Hey all. Oh, that's for those of you who are new here, at some point after finding them, our good friend Deus made us punch cards for the, uh, the Ferry of the Damned. Oh, just ringing that fucking bell. What? Wait, how many times does that bell ring? Do I need to worry? Ah, uh, the only ghost to survive my assault. Face me, you spooky bitch! Hooray! This was clearly a, a fair fight with no downside. All right, now to clear out the place. Uh, so Quincy said, "Do you have any similar recommendations to either unpacking?" 
or Loddle Nord. Uh, yes. So there's there's a little to the left. There's also oh, what was it called? Uh, there's a title. Apparently, sadly, my brain is blanking on it. I'll get myself another cider in a second. Where you play somebody traveling around uh, small European towns, just fixing everyday objects to help people. It was very, very good. And was very reminiscent of, like, Unpacking's kind of style. Now, obviously, the way Unpacking tells its story and how it's basically, like, the best example of taking the inventory management of games. Is, like, what Unpacking does is very unique. But I think there are other games that hit similar vibes. And I, that's something that we can we can definitely find for you. Assemble with care. Thank you, Edwin. Because it is that good. But yeah, unpacking is still best in its class. And I think we're still going to be a little ways away from people trying to emulate the same story. Uh, sorry, the same style of storytelling. You know, that you're given a puzzle game, but actually the story that you are told is told through the environmentals as you do it, as you put stuff out and, you know, you find a space for everything. Didn't want to sit on that skull. Going to level with you. Uh, and I'm trying to remember which one... Uh, wait, Lodlnor, that's the undersea cleanup, right? Because there is a lovely individual who's making a game where <laughs> you play uh, a small little tugboat cleaning up oil spills. And that particular individual is actually developing the game on a boat. Uh, however, that's not released yet. I think that's still in development. Obviously Terra Nil, if you like Lodlnor. I mean, heck, this one's a shot in the dark, but there's a game called Safe Room, which is more of a traditional puzzle game, but it's based around the inventory management from uh, Resident Evil 4. And that's it. The whole game is just rearranging the attaché case with different objects to make it work. Yeah, I mean, Naru, Terra Nil is lovely. I can't imagine anybody doesn't know Terra Nil, but I'd also be remiss if I... Uh, if I didn't add it to the, the playlist, right? Everybody thinks somebody else is going to be the one who adds uh, Queen to the playlist until someone does. Says, I think Backpack Hero is a more enjoyable take on the, the concept. But oh no, Backpack Hero is exceptional. It's just that both Backpack Hero and Backpack Battler have more of a conflict base. And the things that you were talking about felt more non-conflict. Like, I love those both. I am terrified what will happen to me and my sleep schedule. What little I even, Those little times that I do sleep. Because... Backpack Battler is hitting that spot for me that was very similar to Storybook Brawl, but with this kind of, you know, uh, backpack hero mechanics. I'm terrified as what will happen when we get uh, the, the ability to do, like, private matches of that. Uh, I die. I die. And yes, Alexander, Terranil is the one where you, you rebuild nature after it has been broken, with a big focus on, like, leave nothing behind but trees. And I really like that as a philosophy. I guess that kind of kind of goes without showing. Uh, goes without showing. Goes without saying. Okay. Oh, at the moment, as I said, I'm trying. There we go. Storehouse key. Let's go. I know. So Terranil is absolutely beautiful, and its its challenge and experience are so smooth.
Oh, I'm just going to bring that chest up here. We should be able to hook this. Alright, let's check the horizon. Horizon's looking lovely and clear. See, as a solo sloop person, if anybody jumps us, I want to get away. We want to get away. But if we reach a point where we can't, these fort guns can outrange any ship. And if you can get them zeroed in, ooh, they're going to have a bad time. You can absolutely kind of put the favour in your court. Yeah. Also, uh, Timberborn is another one I'd put into that category. Uh, sorry, Naru mentioned like a city unbuilder, and I was like, you know what? Timberborn's another one that it's not quite as dramatic. But yeah, you play a, a, an army of beavers. Uh, trying to rebuild what has been destroyed. And I think it works really well. And it's the same kind of thing, like, you're given a, a barren, like, destroyed wasteland. And from it you build, like, you know... Rivers and uh, lush green uh, greenery and whatnot. Uh, timber, uh, timber born. Um. Oh yes. So yeah, so Quincy, Timberborn is more akin to like a traditional city builder. It has more challenge, it requires more planning. It's probably closer in its life cycle to like a non... I want to say non-violent, but non-threatening... Uh, Frostpunk. Wow, I had to really think about it to remember that one. But it's good. It's really good. I don't solo sleep as much. So. Once again, the horizon is clear. The horizon is clear. Oh, so those of you that are either like lapsed Sea of Thieves friends uh, or haven't played a lot of it, um, the next big update, or at least one of the upcoming updates, is going to be adding the ability for you to, um, one, climb along those hook lines, and two, have your own personal grapple hook. Now that one has limited shots, but I'm going to be honest, that's pretty powerful. Uh, Quincy says, Lottle Nort was great because I just cleaned up the ocean and I didn't take thought in it all. Ah, well then, could I recommend, um, uh, it's got a terrible name, but it's a great game, uh, Light, uh, Lightyear Frontier. Um, you play a giant robot pilot piloting a non-combat farming mech at the edge of space. And ultimately, what you end up doing is using your mech to both make yourself like a lovely little farm on the edge of the known galaxy, but also clean up some kind of strange pollution that has uh, infected the place. Uh, we played the demo, it's fucking good. Uh, and I believe the early access is out on Game Pass. Wow. I'm gonna get myself another cider in a second, friends. I am definitely being smooth brain tonight. But yeah. Uh, I've played it. It's very, very good. It's very reminiscent of that one episode of Love, Death, and Robots with the farmers with mechs, but sans the combat. Okay. 
I'm not feeling spicy enough to hit something else before we get paid. But let's have a look. I don't think there are any Reapers up right now. It's just that um, vessel we saw earlier. Yeah, no one's flying the Reaper's colours. I know, and Quincy, I genuinely love recommending people video games. I think there's an art and a craft to it that I really appreciate. And I love the chance to be able to do it for people. Because ultimately, it's not like with other mediums where you're trying to find a thematic that resonates with someone. It's the thematic and the experience. It's the... It's not just what it is, it's what it's, it feels like to play, right? And that's where it gets interesting. See, one of the things I often find is if you have to recommend games to people that haven't played them, you need a good thematic that will carry them through. But once people get a vibe of what they enjoy, what they like and they don't like, well then you're going purely on experiential. And eventually people reach a certain point where they're like, you know what? All video games slap. What have you got for me? Right? I'm sure the guns are loaded. Uh, actually, I will say, friends, while the map is clear and we have control of the fort, I might just quickly pee and grab myself another cider. That way uh, I don't get jumped by a fucking megalodon in open water and then I have to revoke my title as a person who has never peed themselves live on Twitch. It's a title I could take great pride in maintaining, let me tell you. But if you do decide to, to skedaddle, it's been lovely to make your acquaintance. Tomorrow, actually, just in case some of you are leaving, so here's what we're doing tomorrow on stream. I'm not leaving for the evening, so don't worry, but let me put this in your wheel well. Anytime now, Steam. Do not be grumpy with me. Do not be grumpy with me, Gaben. There we go. Over here. Over here. So tomorrow we are playing a game called Snail Simulator. Uh, this is a solo indie game. Yeah, no, Varials. Wait, no, are you talking about the Snail Sim Dev or are you talking about Gaben? Uh, because if Gaben is your friend, I completely understand. Tell him he can eat farts with a spoon. What's he going to do to me? <laughs> Will's famous last words. Uh, so tomorrow we're playing this game, Snail Simulator. And it is just that. It is the lowest of slowest slow... Who's that? Damn it. I wanted to talk to you all. And now... Okay. Oh, we're good. Skeletons. Oh, he's about to be hopping angry. Like, don't make me run away with a full bladder. Um, but no, uh, so that game is a massive multiplayer snail game where you just play snails and you explore a world at the most glacial pace. And it's really good. Really silly, but it's really good. Um, however, friends, I will take the, advan uh, the advantage, the advice of Sonic the Hedgehog and go fast. I'll be back with you in two seconds. So if you are staying, then thank you. If not... Have a cracking rest of your weekend, all right?
I have the the one treasure that cannot be stolen from me, and that is leftover pizza from a party. Sadly, it has no controversial toppings. It's just meat. Okay. Hmm. And Quincy, I hadn't considered it like that. But that's a good way of looking at um, uh, uh, Dreamlight Valley. Yes. Okay. So, Alexander, this I'm not saying this to be uh, like a well. I, I actually knew them before it was cool. One of my industry friendos has been on that since its kind of conception, and it killed me for ages knowing that game exists and not being able to talk about it because, like, holy crud! I'm oh, sorry. And uh, Alexander was mentioning Stray Gods, and I'm like. Feck yeah. I feel bad for it because, like, any other, like, year, that would have won so many awards. It deserves so many awards. It won a bloody Grammy. In gaming spaces, though, we've been so inundated with exceptional games. And Varials, I apologize I haven't been reaching out. You and a bunch of other friendos I would love to sail with. I've just been... Real life has been very much getting on top of my shoulders, so um, thank you, for, thank you for sticking with us. But yeah, Stray Gods would have won so many more awards if it hadn't gone up against such incredible work. Like, you know, it it is such an incredible heavyweight title uh, in terms of. It does so much with just, like, simple animations, vocal performances, and very, very focused type mechanics. So good. Okay, question. Do we go get paid? Or... Do we chip away at Ancient Gold Fortress, make a little bit more money, enough to get us to level 5, and then go get paid the good cash? Do we risk it for a biscuit, or do we get payout now? <laughs> gamble, 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 gamble. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Edwin, as the Australian game dev scene is fucking brilliant. Bearing north northwest. Oh, fuck off, skeletons. Desperately want to be the uh, villains of this story. Yeah, no, uh, unpacking is ours as well. And again, unpacking is mechanically sound, but should be taught in schools for how it tells a story with non-standard mechanics. Like, okay, I get obsessed, obsessed with titles that tell stories in a way that only video games can. And I can get a, a, a little bit preachy about it, but... Things like unpacking can't be done in any other medium, right? Maybe in board games if you're really good at them, but like... Because if you don't know, so unpacking is a puzzle game where you literally unpack boxes having moved into a place, right? But each move tells the story of a person and we learn about them not through exposition dumps or through a reveal in Fortnite, looking at you fucking Star Wars. 
but we learn about them through the things that they buy over the years, what they pack, what they put away, what they prioritize, and ultimately where they end up on their life's journey through these moments. It's fucking inspired. Yes. Uh, Edwin was just pointing out the, uh, the moment in unpacking where you move into your, your boyfriend's place and you end up putting your degree under the bed. Like, whoa. Pause the sailing load up and packing. It'll be fine. No, unpacking is one of those games that you should experience yourself, right? Um, and uh, Alexander, I... Both myself and Floyd O keep very, very say busy schedules. I try not to uh, to bug him as much as. And I also feel like, again, with Stray Gods, it's such an incredible performance. I I don't know how much uh, an animator could deconstruct it. Because ultimately with Stray Gods, they decided to go for a very simplistic animation style. Like, essentially an illustration with minimal movement. So that they could focus more on vocal performances, vocal talent, right? The way that they did Stray Gods that's so inspiring is that the focus is the performance. Therefore, everything else is in service of that. So, like, the gameplay mechanics are about that. Yup! When does the, um... When does the Brothers remake drop? When do I have to start crying again? Oh, actually, on the subject of things uh, Floydo may or may not have streamed, has Floydo done near Replicant yet? Is it already out? Jesus. Here's the thing, Dios, I pride myself on keeping on top of games, game releases, and whatnot, and even I am missing stuff this year. Oh, who the fuck is that? Oh, no, we're good. Okay, so I guess Naru, I'm trying to be a little cryptic here for those that haven't. Has he played near Replicant? Or has he played near Replicant? Because the other piss are about... Uh... Let me tell you, friends. Streaming for a living means that I don't get to see my friends stream as much as I would like. I have sucks. You know, the only times I really get to watch, like, DJ stream is when DJ is streaming at unhealthy hours. And I should not encourage that of my friends. <laughs> I should not. Okay. Because, uh, Naru, I think that's another one that does a really good job of showing... It's not quite a story that couldn't be told elsewhere, but it's bloody close. Right? There is a movie that, albeit it's not very good, but does an interesting variant called uh, Eden Lock. It's a black and white future techno-viking horror movie. And it goes, it's content warnings abound. Like, if there's a content warning you can think of, except for animal cruelty, it's probably in there. But one of the things it does is a split narrative in the manner of a video game style. God, you can tell I haven't sailed solo in a while. I'm getting bloody nervous. Okay, so Alan's answer says yes. Near Replicant was a full playthrough. Okay. Well, I just... I was reminded of that from uh, a YouTube video I was watching while I was working the other day and just talking about how its use of language and empathy is still very much something that you can only do in video games. Um, before you ask friends, no, I'm not going for the wreck. I am fucking afraid of open water and sharks. Yes, I understand the irony of playing this game. That's how good it is. Alright, here comes the music. Oh, oh, oh! Thankfully, for the most part, these bastards are fucking terrible on the cannons. Just 
keep you getting shot in the face. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, look. Look. Listen, Linda. It's not my best plan, but it is a plan. Sometimes, that's all you need. Oh, look at the ghosts! They've come to say hello! Well, so Naru... You know how in Near Automata, they use the concept of endings as a storytelling device? Well... Near Replicant is something that uses replayability as a way to recontextualize. And that's as far as I'll go with kind of like explanation there, because anything more would do you all a disservice. Right? Oh, and Square Peg, let us know how that is. Um, I know uh, Damien's use a lot of those uh, RPG Maker adjacent tools. Just in, sometimes they hide the key down here, so you end up spending most of your uh, post fight going, WHERE'S THE FUCKING KEY?! Come on. I have places to be, ghosts to fucking kill. We're getting double barrel pistols soon, and I cannot wait. Favour 6, what's on? Welcome. Uh, we started exceedingly early, so technically I've only been going for a little bit. So, sirs. too hard into near near replicant uh, although there is still a few days left uh, to play the near mobley game which is canon uh, for those who didn't see uh, so the near mobile title they did sadly announce that it's going to be closing at the end of this month they've turned off the payment and gacha methods and you just have the story in its entirety And Fred, now you are right, like, the death and shuttering of Mobage is very, very sad. Because they're so hard to maintain. Like, they're not like other online titles that potentially could be uh, reverse engineered. And it's definitely a, a part of the industry that doesn't see any value in games preservation. Games preservation in mobile spaces, you can talk about it and those like those companies look at you funny, right? Oh look. Big skull, big mad. Ow. Stop that incessant clicking. I will not dignify that with an answer. A lot of explosives on this place. Not gonna lie, that's three kegs on one floor. I need to have this fight elsewhere. Oh, ghost bullets. Not as good as regular bullets.
crackling. Hey! Take that, fucking ghosts! Alright, let's check the horizon. Is it a tower or is it trouble? It's a tower! Terrors, the lot of you. Whoever that was, thank you kindly for a gifted sub. Feck you for the naming choice, and you know why. Do not act innocent with me! <sighs> but yeah, no, um, again, if this is the first time we're kind of chatting and hanging out, I do apologise in advance. I can get very enthusiastic about games as a storytelling method, and I get very passionate about the kinds of stories that can only be told in games. Um, Outer Wilds, Blackout Club, Rain World, stuff like that. I love them wholeheartedly. I'm trying to think of some other bangers. Because, like, here's the thing. If you'll hang out with Floydo and DJ, you are by no means uneducated in video game Like, I, I get very, very into the weeds. And that's a combination of, like, professional knowledge and also... The way I was explaining to somebody at a party this evening was, like, you know, for my work, I need to keep up on what games are out, what's happening... But also, it's still my hobby, it's still my passion. And sometimes I'll sit on sites like Keymailer and things like that and just go through every release for the next three months. And of course, that's not comprehensive, even with these. So, like, even sitting down with a big old glass of gin and looking at every video game that is being released and looking on itch and checking all the press emails I get, stuff like that, I'm still missing stuff, like... The breadth and depth of video games right now is so incredible. I found out that somebody made like a, a dark, twisted, um, thief-like immersive sim where you play this like multi-eyed demon. I'm like, holy crap, that's entirely up my alley. How did I not know about that? Well, because they released the game a fucking December 23rd. Sorry, forgive my language, it's just... <laughs> Don't release a game at fucking Christmas <laughs> because no one will see it. Uh, so, Bacon, tell me the tales of your sailing. Uh, Fiona tapped... Okay, I shouldn't say Fiona tapped out early. We sailed for a good hour and a half, and it was good. But... It's also very, very late over here. So I realised that I'm the one on uh, silly people hours. There we go. Uh, also, I don't know if you all saw, friends, uh, next weekend is going to be uh, Gold Rush. So, double XP, double cash, double good times. So, we could have another try at the boat of PvP, just to, to boost things up a little bit. But, the only reason I want it is to get into the bar. I don't actually want to spend years of my life playing PvP. Oh, sorry. Again, if you haven't played a lot of Sea of Thieves, so they added a dedicated PvP mode a while back. You flag yourself one or two factions, you queue yourself up for a fight, and either they appear under the waves to you, or you dive under the waves to them. And it's good, if you like that sort of thing. It's basically an on-demand versus mode. What's bad about that? That's great. However, it takes so long, and... XP gains are predominantly based on chain victories. So if, like me, you're good at sailing, but not ultimately that, um, I'd say fussed by PvP, or Puvapa, as the professionals call it. Uh, it is a long slog and a grind. Why do it? Well, on the one hand, you get what's called a curse. 
Uh, you can make yourself look like either a ghost or a skeleton. And that's, you know, that's so-so. But what you actually get is access to either or of the secret bars. And get yourself a whole ass entry to a VIP area inside a VIP area. And I don't know about you, that sounds pretty fancy. However, you've got to get all the way up to level 100 in PvP. And that is far easier said than done. Uh, anyway, so Bacon was saying the last pair of crosses ended with an Athena's chest and a galley killing barrel. Had no three other players floating around with that in our sleep. Had a bit of an old clinching time before we were able to hit the outpost. Fair. But uh, at least you could sail safe in the knowledge that uh, if you didn't win, you were taking them with you. Alright, there's the ruddy key. Oh, onto a winner here. There we go. Or nice trade. But no, that sounds feckin' fun, uh, Bacon. I am, I'm glad we're getting a chance to sail and hang out. I just, it's very funny to me that when we get the full force of the combined, you know, the Pizza Hut and Taco Bell combo of our friend group, both DJ and Floydo together, is the evening where we are the quietest. For those of you who just joined us, uh, usually we sail with a much more stacked crew, but for tonight, uh, like, night ship with Nessa didn't ultimately happen, but that's because Nessa is helping foster a kitten. No one's going to be mad about kittens. Why can't you uh, play a video game tonight? Ah, uh, you know, baby cats. Ah, oh, beans. Can't be mad about that. Uh, Nick, I assume, ended up having to work late, so I feel for him, you know. And Fiona got sleepy. Because not everybody lives on will hours as we come to refer to them. I'm also getting real close to uh, finishing all the achievements for uh, the uh, these fortresses and see if they think. Check my pirate log. Station, build rats. Here we go. Uh, so I've done everything except this. I need to do eight more of the secret forts, and then I've done everything that one can do with sea forts. And I feel pretty good because sea forts came out right after we started playing this proper. Oh, Imperials, thank you for the uh, offer. Honestly, I think having a little bit of time to nap with everybody and, you know, sailing solo isn't a bad thing. I can't, I can't make every problem my cruise every week, can I? We're, and um, so Bacon, one of the things, well, we mentioned this earlier on, but just to restate, is like, so far, uh, Baldur's Gate... Is one of the few games to have won pretty much every major game of the year award. Like, not even things like Breath of the Wild was able to achieve that kind of clean sweep. The... Did I not put sails fully up? I did not. Good work, me. There's that skelly sloop that desperately wants to be our friend slash enemy. Slash for women. Um, oh, and Naru, go get some sleep, friend. You know, 
I try not to stream this late because uh, I have a penchant for it and I would become entirely nocturnal. He's up top. Alrighty, let me get these all in one place. And then away we go to get food. And try not to die. Because <laughs> now, now we have the possibility of loss. Oh, just as a quick aside as well. So, if you haven't played in ages, they did add some really, really nice quality of life features. One of them is the Captain Ship. So this is our ship. It keeps its own series of um, stats. Uh, there's no bonuses in terms of like damage or I don't know, fucking uh, armor or what have you. But you get one extra special thing that is fucking brilliant. You can take all your loot to one place and sell it to one vendor, the sovereigns. Now they're probably going to turn out to be fucking evil later on, but you know that describes the entirety of you know. British sailing, so it's all good. Except for pirates. Well, potentially villainous. Uh, they were hella gay, which means in this house we stand pirates. Okay. Uh, so plunder is our nearest. That's northeast. Where is that big fucking skull in the sky? Northeast. It's a little risky. Is that anywhere else? Oh, if we, if we want to go for a really fucking long sail, we can just head straight north to Port Merrick. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. I've got too much treasure to risk. And the wind is with us if we go north. Alright. Oh yeah, no, Quincy, you are correct. You get special decorations for your ship once you reach Captain Proper, and then you can decorate the in and outside of your ship uh, which is very, very cool. But I guess the important thing, because we were talking about this earlier on, is like, it doesn't give you any advantages. Like, you're still just... You're still sailing the same style, as the same class of sloop as everybody else. I will say, so Bacon, uh, once I'm done with your lovely cells, which uh, I don't know how much longer I have left in the tank, um, what I will say is I'm going to go The hot water crapped out our apartment complex today, so uh, it came back on as we were driving back. So I've got a tiny bottle of sake, uh, and I'm... Oh, just as a quick question, does anyone have like a good reading or audio book of Roadside Picnic? Oh, Angel Cleaner, go get some sleep, friend. It was lovely to see you. You survived. You won. Oh, Varials, that is a great name. Oh, when you have your own captain vessels, you get to name them. Varials is called I'm at Sloop. Fuck, how did we not think of that? Um, this one is the schooner or later. And my other vessels are the, the yachts and prayers. Uh, and the Alone in the Shark. But the other vessels we have in our fleet are um, the King... Uh, sorry, the Sink Shaming. King Shaming. Uh, and the Jeff Goldblum. No! Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, and those are... Fucking kegs. How big is it? It's gonna be enough sleep, right? Yeah. Get it, fuck! I think I just killed their captain. And they're gonna! And somebody else. I should 
Kitaru, good morning. Watto and welcome. I'm trying to go get paid, and it is happening, albeit. Oh, fuck off. Myself. The treasure is mine. Okay. Uh, Phyllis, thank you for the heads up. I'll definitely have a look at that. Because, you know, that's what Labras are for. Uh, Kyle was. Uh, oh, God, excuse me. I'm choking on my own cider. Uh, Kyle was saying, I was watching last week's VOD, and I think the ordinary alerts would mess you up the same as spooky alerts. Yeah, and get me banned from Twitch Dots Television. I love my crew, but they did not need any assistance that day. Oh, Venus, where's... Where's the wreck? Oh, it's right in front of you. You couldn't have been too far. Alright, let me swing her around. No! Okay, this means we just got server merge, which means we have no idea who is on the other side and what is going, and it means the rest of the plunder in the water is lost. Bastards. Oh, no. Oh. It is still there. That I did not expect. Um, however, this means that there may be reapers, there may be hunters, uh, we may be uh, buttholes deep in the bad times. A fucking storm nearby, Jesus. Uh, so Modi Cage, that's heckin' cool. I have had it where loot has sadly not been part of the, uh... The server merge rewards package. Cards. And again, for those of you who are new here, we played inordinate amounts of the Blackout Club. So, like, the first time we encountered one of those server merges, we're like, oh, the gods are here. Oh, this is dead. Still heading north. I mean, now we're against the wind instead of with it. Okay. Yes, uh, Modicade is also correct. Your your loot that you have buried and have treasure maps for should should come with you, but it doesn't always work. Sea of Thieves is a very complex game from like a game dev standpoint, so sadly, it's not the most stable of games. Like, it still rocks. It, it is, for the most part, fucking brilliant. But you just have to accept that sometimes the seas can be a little... unpredictable. Let's say that. Anyway... If we continue on our current course, we'll be able to head to Port Newcom Isle. Jobs are good. Yeah, no, it's not a perfect system, but it's able to achieve things that very few games can. And, like, you can't understate how well they've done with that. Anyway, so friends, any uh, thoughts, feels, or questions while we sail towards Port Merrick? And Fearless, like, thank you for the reminder on that one, because we've been talking a lot about Roadside Picnic because we've been playing loads of Pacific Drive, and I love the Stalker series. 
I really love it. Um, and somehow Pacific Drive encapsulates it so well. Even though it's not a shooty gun bang game, it's a driving game. Drive and survival. Survival, as I believe um, Dustin came up with. Survival horror. But yeah, that uh, Stalker and Pacific Drive are both inspired by the same short story, which is Roadside Picnic, which is fascinating. And I realised we've talked about it loads, and I remember little to nothing about it, so I wanted to read. Well, I say reread. I wanted to put it on while I get drunk in the bar, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm doing after uh, I deposit you lot off with uh, Port Merrick. I am going to run a bar and get drunk in it. Wait. No, I'm just nervy. A lod looked like a, a two mast. Yeah. Uh, so, Mariko, so the big skull in the sky is still referred to as. Um, oh no, I don't know if it's called the Fort of Fortune anymore, but it's still the same fight. Wave after wave of. Um, and skeletons culminating in a big battle um, and you still get fucking tons of loot but you no longer get the chest of fortune which is a unique chest worth like 20,000 gold okay so bacon it's still called the fort of fortune right because the battle for the sea of thieves and the fleet of fortune are two different things and if you want to get a chest of fortune now you need to go to the aforementioned fleet of fortune Sink the flagship, and there it will be. I still think the Fort of Fortune was the best example of, like, this is a conceived world event PvP, but we do have Flameheart shit coming. Oh, sorry, if you've not, again, or even if you have, fuck it, I want to talk about it. One of the new world events that will be coming in the future is Flameheart's Vessel, which you can fight, overtake, and then pilot with your friends. It is a 10-gun multi- is a 10-gun four-mast ship that has a complementary additional crew of fucking skeletons to help you out. And your goal is just to hold it and get as much treasure as you can. You play the cackling villain. You're not a reaper. You're not out to murder everybody. You're out to cause mischief and mayhem. But essentially, turn yourself into the loot goblin of victory. And I love it. Like, as soon as that drops, that is going to be one of our big goals. Yeah, it sounds sick. That... The two, the double-barreled pistol, the grappling gun, the throwing knife. Like, we're getting loads of new cool weapons, and I'm down for this. Oh, also, Flameheart's ship, alongside the multi-guns, has two flaming round-only front-facing cannons. So if you're in a stern chase with somebody, you can fire forwards. Admittedly, it's only fireballs, but still. Now, I'm still fingers crossed that we're going to get a... Uh, crossover with One Piece. That's the that's the pirate franchise I next want most. I've still got my um, my. Uh, I have a uh, One Piece. I have Red's ship kicking around to build a model. Feel it, see if weaves. So let's make it happen. The others that I want are Pirates of Dark Water uh, and the other one has dropped out of my head. <laughs> but definitely Pirates of Dark Water. says, what can you do when people with devil fruits come after you? Throw a bucket of water on them. Like, devil, like, if you added devil fruits in this as a mechanic, 
it could be fascinating because obviously they'd be very powerful depending on what got put into the game. But if you knock them into the water, they can't swim. Like, they just sink. Making the, basically them in the most painfully... Uh, they put them in the most painful predicament for, like, instant kill PvP, right? Yeah, it does. It makes a bucket of seawater into a weapon. That's ruddy powerful. Alright, how's that for some fucking solo sailing? Alright, I know I didn't get too, too spicy with it, but I'm feeling pretty good. But it would also mean that, like, for peeps that find devil fruits on their session, they'd absolutely only want to fight people on islands or on big galleons. Well, I did that on porpoise. So, Favor 6, it wasn't, but that's a very good one. Obviously, because I'm not a complete cretin. Uh, look at my incredibly burry, uh, burly, uh, burly. God, I can't even speak. Man, the sleepiness is gonna be kicking my ass soon enough. Oh, Quincy, I think we can leave the uh, the explosives. If I really am bringing our adventures to a close, and I, I think, I know it's only been like two and a half hours, but. Uh, Pushing one o'clock in the morning for my good self. But that does mean that we'll be sending off our uh, ship with a bang. <sighs> but yeah, no. Give me a... Give me a good Pirates of Dark Water crossover as well, because, like, Dark Water can make a great threat in this. And I don't think there's anybody desperately uh, commanding that particular IP, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hell, that's a story that didn't even get an end. Sorry, I guess I just kind of assume everybody knows the, the weird cartoon series I grew up with. If you've never heard of it, Pirates of Dark Water was a fascinating little show. Um, in a kind of... It really kind of had like a pseudo-Sinbad kind of vibe. A prince with a broken sword. Being chased by forces beyond his control and evil villainous pirates. With huge city-like ships that eat galleons. <laughs> A Mr. Blobby crossover. Blobby is a new Mega Kraken. Do you? Are you suggesting that because I have offended you? Have I? Have I personally said something that has upset you, uh, or has offended your sensibilities? Because the only way I can think of Mr. Blobby as an enemy in this is um, why? Why would you hurt me like this actively? He's unkillable. He's unstoppable. The last thing you hear is blobby, blobby, blobby. Why do you think he got a, like, a UK number one hit single? 
because he couldn't be stopped. He'd only be appeased. Noel Edmonds found him under his house. The house of Noel Edmonds' house party. And rather than sealing him away, he was he was lured in by promises of power. And before he knew what was what, the Blobby was free. The Blobby was free. I'd say thank you for the 200 bits. But that wasn't 200 bits that you put in. That was a curse. A curse! I also just realised that because it's Friday night and it's just me, there's no one to stop me doing a bit. Like the bit that never ends. Mr. Blobby, new Ash and Lord. Fuck. It's a terrifying prospect. Stop that incessant clicking. Why does that account exist, Favor Six? Why did you look for it? Gods. I have no words. I have no words. Which is probably why I should consider bringing our uh, adventures to a close, dear friends. Okay, so. First off. To those of you that just found our little corner of the internet, feckin' thank you. I hope you had a bloody good night, because I know I did. Like, I fucking love this game. And even when it's quiet like this, uh, not counting Agon Anarchy's $50 donation, which was the opposite of quiet, I, I have a bloody good time playing this. Um... To the long ship, thank you for putting up with a very erratic day. I had originally planned to play Rusted Moss with you all earlier, and that fell out when my brain was like, yeah, Will's not gonna get to get up early today. Fuck that noise. Um, and Night Ship with Nessa turned into uh, Will and Fiona's Sleepy Adventures. Uh, to those of you that came in from Floydo and DJ streams, if we've never met, it's lovely to make your acquaintance. I hope you had a fucking good time. Like, I kind of haven't processed that we had a 300 plus person combi raid and I don't know I've been suffering a cabin fever a lot so I'm going to be saying some real thank yous to, to DJ and Floyd over that one like, you you can't even know oh. okay so as is tradition set the front of the ship on fire See what happens. I need to get a little bit higher. Okay, this. There, this should be fine. Okay. So, friends, pirates, Vikings, and heroes. Uh, I will see if there's anybody else that we know still streaming after this, but uh, I need to do my credits. As I said, I am in, almost entirely supported by your lovely selves. If it wasn't for Longship keeping my ass alive, I wouldn't have been able to keep doing this for six fucking years. Oh yeah, we had our six year anniversary uh, last Saturday. No big deal. But just, when I say thank you, I really fucking mean it. So to the following lovely individuals. As we wait for the fire to catch. <laughs> so to everybody that threw a follow, thank you so much. Uh, I hope we get to hang out in Natter later. To Bunny Bro, Lazy Dog Jumper, Quincy Maru, Mario, and Luigi combined. Uh, Otterances, or I want to say Otterances. Uh, go for Max, or go for Manix. Uh, Alexander of HF, Red Herring, and the Luminous Underscore Knight. Please be nice to me. <laughs> Don't distract me! Burn. Burn. Burn it all. <laughs> to Rogue. Uh, Sorry, thank you all for following. To Rogue Link, Naru Hoodie, Sharky Ann, uh, Opposite Soul World, Brick Ed, Lord Weeb Bit Crab Flap, Rudism, uh, Alexander again, uh, Yassi and Blow Bussy. Favour six, I know that was you. Thank you all the same. To Agonanarchy and Verdantho, thank you to donations because that bit will keep us alive and donations hit the fastest. And to Akira Zero, Bacon Avenger, Favour six, Naru Hoodie, Thank you so much for throwing in bits earlier and now. Fucking legends. 
thank you to all the mod team. Uh, and while they weren't on the list, that would be Lizzie, Moose, and uh, Caffeine. And thank you so fucking much, my Floydo DJ. Thank you for bringing your team in. Oh, that's really fucking cool of you. Well, so Twizlight, what we can do is once it uh, once it pops off, we can see if I can make it to the gold hoarders before uh, the ship sinks. Uh, but i got to keep talking till it explodes. But at least I have said my thank yous. I can also have a quick look to see if there's anybody else uh, streaming right now that I can introduce you to. Oh, you know what? There is a lovely individual, if they're still going... Who is playing Dark Souls for the very first time? Quick while he's distracted. No! Failing that, I do have some other friendos that are kicking it at the moment. Okay. Waiting for the fucking explosion to- Oh, come on! So close! So close to 15. Well, no, so Hamptonator, this uh, individual, uh, it's Jan Pretzels. Hopefully we can get in there before they bring their adventures to a- <gasps> Big butter ball. Big bada boom. Excuse me, did we find the only unexplosive keg in Sea of Thieves? I can't help feeling like I'm being disrespected now by my own explosives! Even apparently the explosive kegs are having a great night off. So wait for the explosive. Oh, but yeah, so uh, Jam Pretzels actually started playing FromSoft games with Bloodborne, and that led them into streaming. And so they've been slowly working through all the FromSoft games. They've just, well, I shouldn't say just, they're quite far into it, but they've been playing Dark Souls Remastered as Dark Souls 1 for the first time. This is an insult, right? This is this is a personal insult. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So friends, I'm going to pass you over to them because I haven't had the chance to raid into them because usually they're going like super late. Um, uh, they are very, very interesting to talk to, and it's just, I watch a lot of their stuff because it's a really fresh perspective on FromSoft titles, so, um, if you've got the opportunity, come join me over this way, otherwise have a fucking rest of your evening in, sorry, have a fucking good rest of your evening, <laughs> this is my brain leaking out of my ears, um, what to say. Tomorrow we're playing Snail Simulator. We're going to try and find what this new Viking stuff is that they added. So it'd be lovely to see you come join us. Um, but if not, completely understand. You know. That's my flag! Alright, let's see. Okay. Whilst the raid is going and the ship is sinking, let's see if I can make it before it crashes. Uh, before it crashes, before it sinks. So yeah. Oh, so Alexander, you're on mornings, so you're set for hangouts. Nailed it. 5k. It's 5k more than we had at the beginning of the day, right? Okay. Friends, if I don't see you tomorrow, have a fucking great rest of your weekend. Thank you for putting up with a sleepy, unhinged, and sugar-crashing will. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. 
can't believe we didn't get that last bit on Finn. We're so close.